Welcome to 19th session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. In today's workshop, using an example, we will review the criteria of paragraph 304.3.3 regarding the reinforcement of welded branch connections. We will consider whether the pipe to pipe connection of our example requires added reinforcement or not. Let's assume that we want to create a branch from the pipe that we had selected the thickness for it in episode number 13. In that episode, we selected a schedule number 80 for nominal pipe size equals 12 under the specific design condition with the same material let's assume that in that design we want to connect a branch with mps equals 4 being perpendicular to run of the pipe we should select thickness for mps equals 4 as explained, calculating and selecting thickness for the pipe is an important skill that the code user should acquire. I hope this course helps you in better learning this skill set. Let's review the procedure for the calculation of the wall thickness of the pipe with MPS equals 4. Design pressure P. Allowable stress S. E. W, Y, C and mill tolerance are the same as the previous example. Only D is different. By referring to SME B36.10, you can find that D is equal to 4.5 inch for MPS equals 4 by the implementation of those parameters in the formula 3b lowercase t will be 0.19 inch that is less than d divides 6 so we are allowed to use 3b formula this thickness can sustain pressure in the last day of life cycle proposed for this pipe, by adding the corrosion allowance to t we will have tm equals to 0.25 inch in the next step we should find the nearest upper standard thickness from table 1 of asme b36.10 you can see that the nearest upper standard thickness is a schedule number 80 or extra strong with 0.337 inch now we should check if this thickness covers the negative mill tolerance or not you can see that uppercase T resulted by dividing TM to 0.875 is less than selective thickness from table 1 named T bar. Therefore, we don't have to select upper thickness. So, the selected thickness for branch is schedule number 80 or 0.337 inch. Let's go back to check the criteria for welded branch connections based on clause B of paragraph 304.3.1. General, before checking criteria, following conditions shall be met. The run pipe diameter to thickness ratio DH divides TH is less than 100 and the branch to drum pipe ratio DB divides DH is not greater than 1. To check this condition, I have created a new sheet in Excel file referring to figure 304.3.3 branch connection nomenclature parameters which have been mentioned in this condition should be determined. Before that, let's talk about mill tolerance. In a procurement scenario, it's allowed that the manufacturer delivers a pipe with permissible dimensional variations. In the design phase, when the strengths of the world connection needs to be assessed. We shall assume that the worst case scenario that the manufacturer delivers pipe with the minimum allowed thickness according to the related standard. If the pipes are availed in the field, we should consider the existing wall thickness for pipe for evaluating strengths of welding connection. In this figure, T stands for thickness, uppercase D for outside diameter, H for header and B for branch. DH outside diameter of header equals 12.75 inches. As shown in the figure, 
TH resulted by subtracting negative nil tolerance from selected thickness of feather that equals 0.602. DH divides TH is by far less than 100. Therefore, the first condition is met. The next condition as DB divides DH not greater than 1 is met too. The angle beta of our example is 90 degrees and the axis of the branch intersects the axis of the run. Therefore, the conditions specified in items number 3 and 4 of clause B of paragraph 204.3 Point one are met and we can proceed with the assessment based on the formula 6a the available area for the reinforcement resulted by a2 plus a3 plus a4 shall be equal greater than the required reinforcement area a1 to meet the requirements of paragraph 304.3.3 in this formula area a1 is the section area of a round pipe that resulted by cutting a hole for the branching specified by the red color hatch in the sketch this area shall be compensated by the area available for reinforcement otherwise adding reinforcement is required area a2 is the area resulting from excess thickness in the run pipe wall shown by green area a3 is the area resulting from excess thickness in the branch pipe wall and area a4 is the area of other reinforcement provided by wells shown in yellow and properly attached reinforcement shown in purple let's assume a scenario in which our pipe to pipe branch could sustain internal pressure without a ring or a reinforced pad purple one this scenario is shown in picture number two in this case if the sum of a2 a3 and a4 is greater than a1 branch can be directly connected to the run pipe without a reinforcement pad now we should calculate a1 a2 a3 and a4 to calculate a1 we should use lowercase t for header the thickness of pipe that could sustain the pressure until end of its life cycle so i refer to the j5 cell of the wall thickness calculation sheet for th in six formula d1 equals db minus two times of tb minus c divides sine of beta actually d1 is an inside diameter of branch remained in the last day of working life considering the situation that the vendor delivered a pipe with maximum allowed negative mean tolerance so we should subtract negative mean tolerance and corrosion allowance from the outside diameter of the branch to calculate d1 when the branch is perpendicular to the header i use the data from this side sheet of this sheet of excel to determine d1 it's a great feature of excel file that can make it an ideal tool for such calculations don't worry if you couldn't create excel file during the course you will have access to it in the course on our website or through link on our website in our example a1 will be th multiplied d1 because 90 degree angle sign is equal to 1 to calculate a2 we should specify d2 defined by the code as d2 equals half width of reinforcement zone that is equal to d1 or tb minus c plus th minus c plus d1 divides 2 whichever is greater but in any case not more than dh in our example d2 will be equal to d1 because it meets 
they mentioned conditions in seven formula a2 equals two times of d2 minus d1 multiply uppercase th minus lowercase th minus c which uppercase th is the thickness of delivered pipe considering the worst case scenario of mill tolerance lowercase th is the minimum thickness required to sustain internal pressure and c is the corrosion allowance i insert these parameters from wall thickness calculation sheet to calculate a2 in eight formula l4 equals height of reinforcement zone outside of ramp height that is equal to two and a half times of uppercase t h minus c or two and a half times of uppercase t b minus c plus t r whichever is less that t r equals minimum thickness of reinforcing ring or saddle made from pipe use nominal thickness if made from plate t r equals zero if there is no reinforcing ring or saddle by creating eight formula in excel file we can have a3 equals two times of l4 multiply uppercase T B minus lowercase T B minus C divide sine of beta. For our example, only fillet weld forms A4, referring to A of figure 328.5.4D. Acceptable details for branch attachment weld TC equals lesser of 0.7 times of T bar B or 6 millimeters. By having TC, we can calculate the triangle area of fillet weld. For calculation of triangle area, first we should calculate minimum leg dimension of fillet weld using trigonometric relations and then calculate the total area of fillet welds. Now we can check the criteria. In this case, reinforcement area A2 plus A3 plus A4 is less than required area A1 and the condition doesn't meet. Therefore, added reinforcement is required. It means that the excess thickness of header and branch couldn't cover the thickness loss caused by cutting header. So, in the next step, we should add reinforced ring to meet the condition. The requirements for added reinforcement are specified in clause F of paragraph 304.3.3 of ASME B31.3. Added reinforcement 1. Reinforcement added in the form of a ring or saddle as part of area A4 shall be of reasonably constant width. 2. Material used for reinforcement may differ from that of the run pipe provided. It's compatible with run and branch pipes with respect to weldability, heat treatment requirements, galvanic corrosion, thermal expansion, etc. 3. If the allowable stress for the reinforcement material is less than that for the run pipe, its calculated area must be reduced in the ratio of allowable stress values in determining its contribution to area A4. 4. No additional credit may be taken for a material having higher allowable stress value than the run pipe. To reinforce this branch connection, I want to use a ring with 7 inches outside diameter measured along the run, made from ASTM A515 grade 60 plate with 0.7 inch thickness that complies with the requirements of the clause F of paragraph 304.3.3. It should be noted that we could use another material such as A387 grade 11 plate for the reinforcement pad same as the pipe's material composition. However, it depends which material is available in your project for fabrication of added reinforcement that meets the conditions of this clause. Please note that the added reinforcement shall be placed in the reinforcement zone that its boundary is specified by L4 and D2. 
Otherwise, we should modify the dimension of ring to fit in this area. The added ring of our example is placed in the reinforcement zone, so we can proceed. In this scenario, we have another fillet weld that attaches reinforced ring to header that shown in C of figure 328.5.4D. In this figure, minimum leg dimension of this fillet weld is specified as 0.5 TR. So we can calculate the area of this welding using trigonometric relations. It's a time to check the criteria again. You can see that added reinforcement with that dimension could compensate the required reinforcement area. Congratulations! You have done pressure design of pipe to pipe connection successfully. Actually, it's a great milestone for being a skilled code user. Well done! In reality, with regards to the material that is available in your project, you can change the thickness and length of the ring to comply with the code criteria by using this excel file in next episode we will talk about pressure design of flange and blank thanks for being with us